Okay, today we're going to be looking at the Bar Barley 4.6. I'm lucky enough to be here with a gentleman that knows all the technical points, so we're going to go ahead and have a look. <laughs> going to get on with these huge sugar scoops. Very easy to get on board this boat. Here, I think we have the emergency tiller. Obviously, twin hull, catamaran, you've got two engines. come out of there quickly. You can see your shore power hook up. Okay, this particular one is all electric. So if the weather gets really bad and you want to close it at night, look at that for ingenuity. People talk about catamarans being safe and weatherproof. You can't get better than that. And you have sliding doors if you want to for opening and closing. I'm gonna come out the gentleman's way. Over here on the starboard side, there's a great little grass, gas grill. Obviously when you're underway, that all closes down and you can close the lid down. All your lines for your main sails and your jib are all brought directly down. You have clutches and these great big Lumar winches, which can be electric or manual or standard. You have rope bins, great big self-tacking jib. More rope bins and clutches this side for reefing your sails and so on. And then back to the important stuff. Have your radio here engine controls here obviously this is a twin engine boat um, two yamas repeaters wind instruments um, i haven't seen any of these carbon wheels in pink yet but that's pretty fantastic you can see your two forwards let's have a look you can see your aft port and i reckon at a stretch if you had a crew you could just about see your aft starboard. So visibility isn't too bad at all. And as you can see, you've got places on the hard top for putting solar panels, a fabulous sunbed area. And I don't know what you think of this, but it's really comfortable coffee eating area when you're underway or, you know, at a mooring somewhere. You could easily fit eight people around here and a couple sunbathing. Fantastic. Okay, we'll go down this side and have a look inside the boat. From the port sugar scoop, if you come in, there's actually a cabin. And you can see this hatch, the amount of light that's going to let in. The steps are quite steep, but look at this. Look at this guest cabin semi I don't know if you could call it an island bed but semi island bed loads of space you've got power points um, see how these lights are nice little touch lights and USB charging over in the corner look at that for a view waking up in the morning out the window there's an opening hatch here for ventilation you have an electric fan up here and over here in the corner, you have storage. Those cupboards and the tops feel nice and solid, really good quality. Your 
emergency access uh, escape hatch. It's nice to see one all in stainless steel and not plastic. I love these leather details, they're really nice. More storage for clothing. And you have essential access to the engine area and so on underneath the stairs there too. This cabin comes with its own wet room. Little ensuite bathroom, ventilation for those bathroom moments. Hello everybody. I'm going to come out of there and go up the steps. Everything shuts firmly, all the corners are rounded. We're coming into the main dining area. You've got a lovely, they say it's a two-seater sofa, but I reckon you could fit three or four people on this chair. Bonjour. Bonjour. The electronics, the controls he were using for the door, uh, just here, and you have all your light switches. There is, it's these little details everywhere, stainless steel, stitched leather, um, really, really nice, really nice. They've got this table laid up for six, quick maths there for you. Uh, I reckon at a squeeze you could fit eight to ten people round it, no problem at all. They have these lovely, especially if you have those doors folded down, they're these lovely windows that slide all the way back. There's always plenty of air coming through. It's absolutely stunning boat. And then forward into the galley and the nav area. This galley is really well quitted out. You have a double stainless steel sink, loads of storage, you can see people's rubbish, more storage. You have a large oven and a four gas hob. Obviously being a catamaran, it's a lot more stable at sea, so it's not a gimbaled cooker. But you have, you can see all the way they've braced it on the side with stainless steel. More charging points over in the corner. You have your gas shut off is in here somewhere. Uh, it's up there. That's to shut off your gas, emergency shut off. More drawers, more storage. I'm not going to go through and open them all. Facing forward of the galley, you have a microwave. Yet yeah, more work surface or areas for putting things. These great big forward opening windows for airflow is just to give you a little bit of a view round. Absolutely fantastic. There are lights and charging points everywhere on this boat. More storage, more cupboards everywhere. This is actually an owner's boat they've allowed to use for the show, so I'm not going to open everything up for privacy. You have a dishwasher which is pretty fantastic. I think this is the difference between sun catamarans and monohulls. You have a large American style fridge freezer. Fridge on the right, freezer and ice maker on the left. And then over to the nav station. Have a nice little area for storing your bits and pieces. Raymarine radios, your um, repeater, chart plotter, have a great little bendy light that comes out, which is pretty snazzy. Uh, repeaters, VHF radios, um, your panels for your lights and so on. And this, I'm not going to go into it because it's none of my business, but this will show you go into it, how much power you have in your electrics, your water tank, um, all your little bits and pieces like that. Before we go down into the cabins, we're going to have a look at this fantastic area. Stick area out the front. This is obviously all self-draining down here, so you don't have to worry about water. And it's a solid sealed door, so 
you know, a bit like the leopards, nothing to worry about. What a fantastic time or place to have your sundowners or a cup of coffee and a croissant in the morning. Absolutely fabulous. Sharing your time with your friends. lovely two-seater sofa there, a small, if you can find the catch, vanity over here, and they always say for the ladies, but it could be for the men, you know, you never know. Um, plugs, USB, you've got an open, there's a hatch opening in the window there you have another opening hatch here you have yet another opening hatch another opening hatch another opening hatch I'm gonna sound like a broken record here a fan up here for ventilation ventilation on this boat is just fantastic you have a semi island queen size bed plenty of storage down the side of the bed There is storage under the bed, but I'm not going to lift it up. And your owner's cabin, privacy, sliding door, which is great. You know, you want to get away from the kids or the friends for a little while, um, have a bit of peace and quiet, be on your own. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Your other emergency escape hatch and coming through the owner's quarters. Don't know if you can see in there, that large cupboard. And that's obviously gonna be mirrored with shelving over here. I have no idea what's behind this panel, so I can't tell you. Sorry about that, guys. Behind all that, you have the owner's toilet, nice little sink. Hi again. You have an opening hatch on the side there and a electric toilet. Rather nice, really. Rather solid door. Well, wow. Coming into the owner's cabin bathroom, you have nice um worktop jack and jill sinks there is if i can find the opener there we go there is oodles of storage behind this one the same here loads more storage for your bits and pieces thingy bits you have storage underneath the sinks, both sides, and access further down to your pipes. Over on the other side, there is a washing machine. This boat has all the mod cons. Another window, opening hatch, more storage up above. Same again here, and then into the copiously large owner's shower, which has ventilated window. I'm actually sat down on the shower seat now. I can't tell you actually how much. Let me get this round. Hopefully if I hold it here, you can get an idea of actually how much room there is in this shower. Big enough for two if that's what you like, or on your own for peace and quiet. There is another hatch up here. The ventilation on this boat is just incredible. Um, there are hatches and fans everywhere. Now we'll... This owner's actually set it up 
with a third cabin here for the kids. You've got two bunks, storage, and they have a little opening hatch there, which is very cool. A toilet. Once again, more opening hatches everywhere with a separate shower, once again. But this bathroom is actually shared with the two cabins, the one with the double bunk, and this other forward cabin, which is a double bed. It's a bit of a climb up onto it, but for your guests or other family members, um, it's fantastic. Once again, beautiful views out the windows, loads of ventilation. There's another fan up in the corner, and as you can see, you've got opening hatches and another opening hatch up there storage cupboards and once again more storage just here pardon je <laughs> sorti right i hope you like this give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one